Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. I know, I know, I know. I haven't been on here for a really, really, really long time. Um, just really didn't find much inspiration and dealing with a whole bunch of things. Um, some of you know my mom was diagnosed with breast cancer and um, just going through a lot of crap. But now I'm back and I'm gonna be on here weekly for you guys showing you um, different things. So for today's video, I'm actually going to be doing like healthy, easy meals. Uh, I'm about convenience. I'm not all about like doing these extravagant meals unless it's like for a special occasion or um, I might be in the mood every once in a while. But honestly, for day to day life, you're not going to be spending three hours cooking. And you know, it takes longer to cook it than it actually does to eat it. So I'm just going to show you kind of things, my go to staples that are very quick easy to the point get your macros in and not even have to deal with it and it tastes really good super convenient tastes good macro friendly what's wrong with that okay so i just finished working out on saturdays i usually do like some conditioning work so i ran with dutchy boy and um came back home did some conditioning like burpees, um, jump lunges, jump squats, things like that, some squats, but like very lightweight. Um, so now it's time for breakfast. And um, I'll show you guys what I'm eating. It's some easy French toast protein filled. Let's get to it. All right, so these are the ingredients for the French toast. We've got cinnamon, my protein bread, egg whites, truvia, vanilla extract, and Lily's chocolate chips. All right, so the first thing that I do is I will measure out my egg whites. We're gonna do 80 grams. Then I'm gonna add some cinnamon, just kinda eyeball it. Two spoonfuls of Truvia. And just a capful just a capful of the vanilla extract. I'm guessing that's about like a teaspoon. Then I just mix it all. Gonna soak the bread. Alrighty, so I'm just gonna spray this with some Pam. Turn it on about medium to high heat. So just kinda Soak the bread in there and just put it one and soak this one. Good stuff. Yeah, I use my hands. And voila. All right, so next up, I measure out the Lily's, oops, backwards, the Lily's dark chocolate stevia sweetened. Found these at Whole Foods, and I think Amazon also has them. We got an escaper. Okay, nothing is coming out. <laughs> All right, 10. 10 grams of that. All right, I flipped it over and then I kind of just put some of the chocolate chips on there. Just press it down. Here, I got 10 grams of PB2. And let me just tell you, I don't like it this watery. It came out so watery, I like it thicker. I'm a little bit disappointed. Mm, I wish there was smell TV so you guys can smell this. So I kind of just drizzle it on top, I guess, and in between, but it never comes out this watery. Ugh. This is what I hate about PB2 is the fact that it could come out watery. Eh. Oh well. And just add in some of this Walden Farms. And voila. Those are my protein pancakes. I mean, whoops, French toast. <laughs> These are honestly so yummy. And they're super easy to make, right? I'm gonna eat this. 
take a shower and then show you guys the rest of my easy peasy go-to meal where did i leave off okay i did the french toast as you guys saw super easy super macro friendly uh, macro friendly and now i'm gonna do something that i sometimes have as a snack or even as my lunch um it's super easy because you can customize it to fit your protein and your carb needs and um like all these meals these are basically all the ingredients mission flour tortillas these are the small ones um i got these yesterday at trader joe's i absolutely love it the herb uh, turkey breast so good and it's nitrate free very very important honey mustard and then laughing cow cheese all right so basically all I do is get one tortilla this is why I say you can customize it if you need more carbs you can have two tortillas oh wait I really don't want to weigh out the honey mustard but I guess so pour some honey mustard just spread this out. So we're gonna put 70 grams. Again, you can customize it and put as little or as much as you want. Perfect. All right, it's about two grams over. That's fine. And then all I do is roll it up, put it in a Ziploc bag, and voila, super simple, super easy. You can take anywhere if you're on the go. And then I'll just take, she wants some. And I'll just put this on here, take it to go. Voila. All right guys, this is my convenience. Green beans or any type of veggie, I just buy frozen, pop it in the microwave, it's done, you're ready. Um, I've been obsessed with these veggie spirals. They're made from zucchini um, and lentils. Super good, get your veggies in, pop it in the microwave, done. And I just found these at Target. I think Publix is also now carrying them. These nachos, they're like little chicken nuggets. I pop them in the air fryer or in the oven, whatever's easier, and you're done. And to go with those, with this pasta, I have these turkey meatballs that I've got from Trader Joe's, as you can see. I really like them because they're half gone. Super easy, pop it in the microwave, and you got a whole meal. Simplest thing, I'm all about simplicity. And I have one last thing that I'm gonna show you guys. It's a cool, it's a little recipe. You can make it on a Sunday really fast. You can just put it in the slow cooker, you forget about it, do whatever you have to do, and then come back and you've got uh, chicken for the entire week. Let me show you. This is why I love convenience. I just put all the chicken in there. Didn't have to pick up anything, didn't make a mess. It's all in the slow cooker. I put some Pam so it didn't get stuck, um, so it doesn't get stuck. I'm gonna add some onion powder. Just put it on there. If you're Cuban, you just know. This is your go-to to all your meats. Garlic and onion powder. Just put some. I eyeball it, honestly. I don't measure. Then I'm gonna add some pepper. And last but not least, a little bit of Himalayan salt. And that's it. It's in there. Put the top on, turn it on. I'm gonna select, that's too hot. And we're gonna put a timer for about an hour 30. And that's it. You forget about the chicken. And then later on, once it's almost done, I'm gonna add two special ingredients that I'll show you later. So the chicken's about halfway done. I had to add some, uh, some more time actually. So it's probably been about two and a half hours. So now I'm gonna show
show you guys my secrets. We got sugar-free orange marmalade and sugar-free barbecue. So it's kind of like my take on orange chicken. So I'm just gonna add some there, eyeball it, and voila. Still has a little bit of raw parts. I'm gonna keep it in there for about another hour, I'd say. And that's it. And that is the finished product. That is my orange chicken. So there you guys have it, my easy peasy go-to meals that you can do super quick, super fast, macro friendly. And that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed. I will catch you guys in the next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And thank you so much for watching.